Okay, so today we're going to look at a couple of these knives in comparison to the Verdict, which is pretty amazing. So let's get into this. Okay, so I've got a couple of cold steel knives. I thought a bunch you might have, and if you're wondering how it compares to the verdict, it won't be long. Y'all can get your verdict your own. You won't need me to compare stuff. But I thought, you know, if you're thinking about doing it, <clears throat> I might as well just go ahead and show you a little comparison. Now, for me, I think the one it closest compares to is going to be the Pro Light. But let's look at the Recon first and just check that. I love the Mini Recon. Awesome, awesome blade. Check that out. And then if you look at the verdict next to it. Yeah, I'm not even on camera. Okay, so if you look at the verdict next to it, it really, the, the length and everything is, it's a really comparable kind of, you're gonna get the same kind of use out of a knife. Now, to be fair, this is Aus 10, Aus 10A. So it's a little bit better steel than what you're getting with the 4116. But for what you're going to be using it for, I'm thinking it's you know comparable enough. If you look at the thickness of the blade, you know the, the Recon's got it. It's got a thicker blade. It's got a wider blade than the Verdict. Check that out. You can see where it's wider. Now the length of the blade looks to be right about the same. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more on the verdict but as far as the actual edge yeah you're still getting it looks like like maybe a quarter maybe like what is that like eight inch more on the verdict still love this knife just an awesome blade all these smaller triad lock type knives with cold steel all winners so and in the hand I think I like the Recon one just a little bit more, just because it's a little bit wider, a little not thicker across the back. Well, it is a little bit thicker across the back, but it's just a little bit wider in depth in the hand. So this feels a little bit more like a like a American Lawman in my hand, but that doesn't mean this is uncomfortable. I can still get all four fingers even without my pretty pink lanyard <laughs> on here. It still works out for me. One of the things I do like about the Recon is that I can switch over. Well, I guess you can do the same thing, switch over those thumb studs. The thumb studs on here for the left aren't bad. You know, they stick that shorter thumb stud over here, but I don't have any issues getting that open. And same thing over here, I can still grab it with my left, no problem. Okay, now the thing is, I really like the way it compares to the Pro Light. So the, if you look at the, just from, let's just say from my thumbs up, is that even on camera? I gotta get a better camera for this, a better screen. So if you look from the thumbs up, it's very comparable as far as blade length goes. Check that out. It looks like you're just getting like a sixteenth of an inch more on the blade length on that Pro Light. I mean, just barely barely hardly anything on that thing if you check it the, that the width of the blade very similar I like this one I, do, I love the Pro Light but one of the problems with the Pro Light is they put that lock back back here on that triad lock and it makes it a little bit tougher for somebody that's not well versed in using the triad lock to kind of get that down even me I put a little more pressure on that thumb I mean if you're gonna be using this of course, two-handed, it's no problem. But just as a one-handed knife, I don't know where. All right, so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This camera's failing on me as far as, I gotta get another stand for it. So, I don't even know how far I went into this video, but we're gonna see. So right now, it looks like this one feels the best in hand. The, the Recon One, the Mini Recon. I really like the way this feels in hand. And this one's a, I love them all, but if I had to go by just feel of hand, this one 
and then this one, and then this one. And let's see, if I had to go by just which one I would grab as my favorite of these, I think I, it would be tough between these two, but I think I'd still go with the recon one, but this is not far behind. This is like this is like Cindy Crawford, and this is like Stephanie Seymour. You know what I'm saying, you, you elder gentlemen. <laughs> and for you younger guys, I don't know. I don't want to be weird and creepy and name some... some. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> this is just... They're just close enough. And I, I don't know who she is. <laughs> Alright, so let me know what you think. Have you tried this one out? Or tried this one out? If you like this, you're going to like this. If you like this, you'll like this. It's it's right in that same wheelhouse, and it's, it's not a huge difference. All right, let me know what you think down there. Like and subscribe. And I may throw this camera against the wall. It's, that's not a bad camera. I'll talk to you later. Zoom.